Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and Visual Studio Code just got some pretty major updates, specifically in the November update, which released on December 8th, don't ask me about the naming convention, but I'm just going to jump in and show you this one, because this one is actually, well it's a big enough deal that it's getting a video, so here I am in a Visual Studio Code, let me just snap that to the side. Uh, and what I'm going to show you now is I could grab this guy over here and I can drag them off. If we now have free floating windows, like you can see right here, I can actually do this with multiple windows. So I'm going to come on over here, pick another guy, and once again, drag it off and you can handle it accordingly. But these do snap. So for example, I snap this guy to the right, it works accordingly. And the neat thing here is they're all still subservient to the main window. So if I do an update on the one window, like change the scale, it will apply to all of the windows. By the way, to bring these things back home, literally just drag and drop them back in like so. Definitely a lovely part of this update. If you want to check, see if you've got the update, just basically come in here, check for updates, make sure that you are current. When you are update, you'll be able to show the release notes here. So this is the November release uh, version 1.85. And cool new feature, of course, is that floating editor window. But there's actually some other really cool things in here I've been waiting for for a very long time. Uh, the other one here is when you're dealing with extensions. Now, when you're talking about Visual Studio Code, you probably have dozens upon dozens of extensions installed at this point in time. And you may not want them updating automatically because quite frankly, sometimes updates break things. Now what you can actually do is come on in here, go to your auto update extensions, and you can actually set this one up to say selected. And now what I can do is I can come into any extension I want here. So say GitHub uh, Copilot chat. I only want that to update it when I say update it. I come in here and basically auto update. So now this one will, so I guess I'm doing the opposite. It will actually only update when I manually update it. This one will now update automatically. So you see back here, it is a toggle. So I could turn that back off. So anything that's got automatic update will get updated automatically now. Otherwise, you basically can start doing it manually if you wish. So if you want to do your, uh, again, updates to your various different extensions in a manual basis, you now have that option. You've got fine tune control over how they all work. By the way, you can also leave it as just update them all and it will work wonderfully. You'll also notice here from the release notes, a couple of other other features here. Um, you're not going to get into too much details, but the floating window, that one is very cool. The uh, new update controls is definitely quite cool. But the other one I really like is actually down here is we're getting sticky scroll in trees. Now this is experimental and you can turn it on, but you see here. So if you're, you're drilling down, you need access to the hierarchy above it. You can do that. You can have N number of items pinned there. It is seven by default. So you see here it expands down and you get all those options. So if you're navigating in and out of things, sticky scrolling is one of those things. I can understand why some people will love it and some people will hate it, but it is now available here. Instructions on enabling are all available right here. Another thing that they've added here is multi-file diff editor in the same window. So you got to turn this one on as well. But if you're doing GIF, um, changes here in this uh, folder structure here, you can basically click the, the multi-file diff view and it will bring them all up in a single editor. So if you're doing quick diff work, uh, that is definitely a nice new feature. Now I do have to point out though with this new uh, drag and drop functionality, for example. Uh, so let me just scroll this over here. It is not flawless. So for example here, you can see code, no problem at all. So if you got multi monitors like there, I dragged it off my other monitor, works absolutely wonderful. But you're going to find some video, uh, some file Files, such as this guy, uh, that type can't be opened in other windows yet. So it's one of those things to be aware of. It is not flawless, uh, but it is definitely on its way. You're also going to notice here, uh, as I take an object uh, back over here, so earlier I redocked it by doing this. Uh, if you close the file, if I just come in here and exit, it will show back up here in Visual Studio Code. So ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, the November update. I, again, I don't normally cover Visual Studio Code updates because they're not normally that impressive, but I gotta admit, this is something I've been waiting for for a very long time. Godot just got this actually as well. I think Godot 4.1 uh, now has these undockable windows that you can brag, drag around to multiple monitors and it, it's it's a game changer for how I work. I'm happy to see this. It keeps me from having to keep multiple instances open. Uh, the new sticky scroll and the new diff tools, uh, definitely nice as well. Uh, and of course, the ability to do your updates manually. Uh, it, it's very situational, but I know some people are going to absolutely love that. So there was a lot in this particular release um, and I did think it, it deserved a window for sure. So if you haven't checked out Visual Studio Code in a while, definitely give it a download. It, it's an interesting uh, update. Uh, I'm quite impressed by it. I'm curious what you guys think of these changes they've made. Obviously, there's uh, other stuff here as well. Um, if you want to go ahead and check out full release notes, they are available uh, as I showed you in help uh, and then show release notes available there. Uh, but yeah, that is the November release. Interestingly enough, released on December the 8th of Visual Studio Code. What do you think? Let me know. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.